Hallelujah. That if it's a year of supernatural accomplishments, for most of us, the name of Jesus is only to add the final finishing touches when concluding our prayers. Yet we see lots of evidence throughout the New Testament emphasizing that the name of Jesus is much more. In this sermon series, God's choice servant, Pastor Chris Oyakolumi, brings revelation and takes us deeper on what the name of Jesus is and how to use it effectively as the early believers did. In John chapter 16 and verse 24, Jesus said, Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Let's tune in to the message already in progress as we learn just how to bring leverage and take advantage to advance the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. It's not going to happen all by itself. We have a role to play. There's something we must do to make it such a year. You know, at the beginning of any year, a lot of people are excited. They look at the rest of the year with hope. And they say, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to achieve this, I'm going to do that. But by September, they haven't done anything. And then October comes, and then November comes. And the year goes again. And they haven't accomplished anything or changed anything. Sometimes some get discouraged. Some others are still, they're so used to it. Nothing new ever happens. But it is not so with you. Hallelujah. Because the Lord has chosen you for a purpose. In these last days. He chose you to hear the things that you hear. Hallelujah. And these blessed words go down into your spirit. And they produce results. Amen. Hallelujah. And I began to read to you from 1 Corinthians chapter number 6. I want you all to read that 11th verse of the 6th chapter of 1 Corinthians together. We want to go. Remarkable. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, and ye glad you are washed. Some are still trying to get washed. <laughs> you are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Now, uh, the, well, well, well. Okay, let me just stay in focus. I have some things to tell you here, but let's go on for, for the moment. He says, in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. All of this has happened, he says, in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. So I, I began to share with you that these are two important elements for us to make the year a year of supernatural accomplishments the first one is the name of the Lord Jesus and the other one is by the Spirit of our God so but I already um, had some teachings on the name of Jesus and I hope you've gotten the tapes if you haven't you can request for them but this time it's not just what the name represents which we have studied uh, the authority and the power of that name all of that is beautiful but I said that there are many Christians who who have studied and understood the power of the name and what it represents but uh, 
when it comes to using that name they have a problem they haven't learned to use the name of Jesus and that's what we started sharing using that name the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah in the name of Jesus the several scriptures that show us that he gave us the legal authority the power of attorney to use his name when you read in St. John's Gospel chapter 14 you notice the 13th and, and 14th verses and whatsoever you shall ask in my name that will I do that the Father may be glorified if you shall ask anything in my name I'll do it he's given us the legal authority to use his name and you go to the 16th chapter of St. John's Gospel reading the 23rd verse and in that day you shall ask me nothing Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he'll give it to you. Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, whatsoever, whatsoever. Meaning we can ask the Father in the name of Jesus. He's given us the legal authority to ask the Father, to make requests in his name. In his name means in his place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when we ask in his name, it's as though Jesus himself is asking. Praise God. You know, there are some people who tell us why they pray through Mary. They say that uh, God never refuses Mary. Well, so they say they go through Mary. They ask Mary to ask the Father. So they pray to Mary so that Mary can talk to the Father on their behalf because God loved Mary so much. They say, you can't just go straight to God. No. A thousand times no. Jesus said, in my name. In my name. Whatever you ask the Father, in my name. When you ask in the name of Jesus. When you ask in the name of Jesus, you're taking his place. Legally, it means he's making the request. To turn down that request means to turn Jesus down. We've got to understand the power behind the word that he gave us. Whatever you shall ask the Father in my name, he'll give it to you. When you ask the Father in the name of Jesus, he doesn't consider whether or not, listen, this is important, he doesn't consider whether or not you got faith. It's important that we understand it. The subject of faith with respect to the born again person. He doesn't consider whether or not you got faith. Faith's got nothing to do with it. Why? Because he already dealt to you the measure of faith. If you didn't have faith, you wouldn't know Jesus. You already have it. He's not questioning whether you got faith. He said, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he'll give it to you. Now you say, I've been asking, why didn't I get it then? Who told you you didn't get it? You see, you repudiated what you got when you said you didn't get it. You canceled it yourself. When you said, I didn't get it, I asked and I didn't get it. Well, when does the Father answer when you ask? The answer is just in what I said. I said, The answer is in what I just said. When does the Father answer when you ask? The answer is in there when you ask. He answers when you ask when you ask in the name of Jesus there's no time difference 
you got it because you asked in the name of Jesus now you know in the first epistle of St. John mentioned this to you before but it bears repeating first epistle of St. John chapter number 5 I will read to you from verse 13 these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God oh boy see how important it is he says, I, I write these things to you that believe on the name of the Son of, God, the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. That's number one. Know who you are. Know what you've got. Know you're a child of God. You're born again. You have eternal life. You're not going to get it. You already have it. Okay? Then, and that you may believe on the name. I want you to know the name works. That's what John is telling you. Look at it. He says, I have written these things to you who believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. I thought he just said you already believe. Look, at, examine that verse. Go again. 13. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. Ye that believe on the name of the Son of God. I have written these to you. That you may know that you have eternal life and that you may believe on the name of the son of god no look at it these things have i written to you that believe on the name of the son of god that you may believe on the name of the son of god that's what he's saying in effect because he knows there are those who believe on that name and don't really believe Somebody once described them as unbelieving believers. But here's the point, verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Now, you know, many times we have said that... Uh, uh, this means that if it is consistent with his will if what we're asking is consistent with his will then god hears us meaning if we ask for the right thing oh that's not what he's talking about at all so sometimes you know people pray and then they say well i i think i didn't get it because um i guess it wasn't his will to give it to me no that's not what that scripture is talking about well, that's not what he's talking about at all so there's so much uh, saints knowledge teaching of the word of God and it's been there for so long that sometimes you don't realize where we go wrong. Just because a lie has been in office for 20 years doesn't make it true. Does it? Now let's examine that verse again. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask, notice, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Watch. The expressions here show us exactly what he's talking about. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, no, we know that we have the petitions that we have desired of him. He's not talking about whether the thing that we are asking for is consistent with uh, his will. What he's talking about is whether we have a hearing or we don't have a hearing. He says if we ask according to his will, we have a hearing. Doesn't that tell you something? Which means he's talking about the way we ask. Not what we're asking for. He says, if we ask according to his will, we have a hearing. Hey, come on here. <laughs> How do you ask according to his will? You ask the Father in the name of Jesus. You see that? That's the way you ask. 
you ask according to his will his will is that you ask the father in the name notice if you it was not a usual thing to do in st john's uh, gospel chapter 16 what we're reading in the 23rd verse he said and in that day you shall not pray to me you shall not ask me anything that's what he said so it was a revelation a new way of asking god that he was bringing in he says in that day you shall ask me nothing but whatever you shall ask the father in my name he'll give it to you this is the new deal he says in that day now if you read from the 20 come on go, go back there st john's gospel read verse 24 chapter 16 verse 24 want to go uh, most of you are still trying to get there again want to go see that he said up to you now you have not asked in my name in the previous verse he says in that day you shall ask me nothing but you ask the father in my name you're stepping into my shoes you're using my name and in that day you'll be able to speak to the father directly in my name and whatever you ask he'll give it to you now he said some more he says some more. get back there same chapter 16 I want you to read verse 26 verse 27 <laughs> oh glory to god see that see that that's exactly what a lot of folks want to do they say well we will talk to um you know we'll talk to we'll talk to mary and then mary will talk to the father for us or they say uh, we'll pray to the saints and the saints talk to the father for us and they say we'll talk to jesus and jesus talk to the father for us jesus said no in that 26 verse he said i'm not telling you that i will ask the father on your behalf he said i'm not gonna do it he says you don't need me to talk to the father for you because the father himself loves you the father doesn't need somebody to plead with him to get him to do something for you somebody said well jesus christ is by the father and when you ask the father from the earth and say father give me this or give me that then jesus turns to the father and father give it to him that's my brother down there that's my brother down there whatever he's asking for please give jesus said no he said i'm not going to do it the father himself loves you doesn't need anybody to convince him to do something for you whatever you ask the father in my name he says and i'm not telling you that when you ask in my name i will talk to the father on your behalf he says no papa god doesn't require that he loves you himself for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son he was the one that loved us so much and sent jesus it wasn't jesus who said father what are we going to do to those on earth hallelujah oh i love it so you ask the father in the name of jesus that's the way to pray that's the way to ask he says in uh, that verse where we're reading this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hear it us it's talking about having a hearing before the father if you ask in the name of jesus you are heard and the bible says and if we know that we have a hearing if we know that we have a hearing then we know hallelujah you see it it says if we know that we have a hearing then we know that we have the petitions that we have desired of him all you need is to have a hearing and he told us how to get it 
because he already gave us right standing that's righteousness right standing right standing right standing gives you a hearing in heaven hallelujah praise God forevermore oh how we could achieve so much and do so much and accomplish so much if we use the name of Jesus and how much we have lost for not using that name I remember Yonggi Cho's story he said he was in a hotel in Japan and Satan attacked him in that hotel room and said I'm gonna kill you and he felt the pressures of the devil he said demons were in his room he felt so much pressure and he was like he was dying then he said the Holy Spirit said to him son use the name of Jesus use the name of Jesus he was struggling he said I was struggling but uh, I thought I was dying and I kept hearing Satan said I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna kill you he said but the Holy Spirit said to me use the name of Jesus use the name of Jesus then he said in the name of Jesus Satan I rebuke you and the devil let him go he said so quickly I felt a relief oh glory to God how many people suffer and cannot call the name of Jesus he had preached for years and yet the Holy Spirit had to remind him use the name of Jesus use it hallelujah I want to show you something that uh, I think you should observe in that first Corinthians chapter number six the first verse I read to you the 11th verse something you may not observe but I want to show it to you the 11th verse six chapter first Corinthians and such were some of you but ye are washed but ye are sanctified but ye are justified then it says in the name of the Lord Jesus and it says and by the Spirit of our God the word translated in here is the Greek word n it's en n and that word can be rendered in in English can be rendered by in English can be rendered through in English and uh, there you have it sanctified in the name of the Lord Jesus and then by the Spirit of our God the word translated in and the word translated by are the same so how do you know which one is which by the context by the context hallelujah it's like some English words um, you can have the same spelling for the present tense and the past tense and then how do you know the difference how do you know where to place which the context for example R E A D I will read it as I read it yesterday now the context tells you how to pronounce it even though it's the same spelling for both you could have said I will read it as I read it yesterday <laughs> and you'd be wrong <laughs> you'd be wrong but you change it because you know the context so you have it here a bit he is sanctified you justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and the could have said and in the spirit of our God and they could have said justified by the name of the Lord Jesus and in the spirit of our God well the King James translators have put it this way and um, it's nice it's okay but sometimes you don't get the best expression uh, if you don't study it properly to put in whatever is right 
hallelujah okay now maybe you should go to philippians chapter 2 let me show you um, you begin to understand or maybe i think before we go to chapter 2 let me show you two close verses where you would have a slight difference okay then we will go to philippians first uh, thessalonians chapter number four first thessalonians chapter number four and i want to read from verse one Furthermore, then, we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus. Notice the word by, okay, is the Greek word in. So, they could have said, we beseech you in the Lord Jesus. So, when it says, we beseech you by the Lord Jesus, what they're trying to tell you is, we're doing it in His name. We beseech you by the Lord Jesus that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please God so ye would abound more and more now verse 2 for you know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus interestingly that's different that the the Greek word used there is not n is another word dia dia like you say via or via do you understand dia now the difference between these two so sometimes you're going to find they use this word and then translate it through more often and appears as by more often than in does because dia refers to a channel you understand it a little more in a moment refers to a channel and in refers to instrumentality now what's the difference a channel is something you can go through all right a channel is something you can go through a channel is a vehicle You get it? It's a vehicle. It's a carrier. Now, but in the other case, when you say instrumentality, I can say, um, I can use a, a hammer and go crack and break this thing. I will say, buy the hammer. in the instrumentality of the hammer but when I make a connection between here and there and I pass current from here to there I say dear you see I pass the current from here to there through this cable you get it so sometimes okay hello 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 you're there okay now go to Philippians chapter 2 we read from verse 9 wherefore God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that by the instrumentality of the name of Jesus so some of the translations give you that at the name you can go by the name and you can go in the name that in the name of Jesus now what is he telling you when he uses dear or uses n is telling us that the name of Jesus 
has efficacy by the very mention of it the name itself the name itself is an instrument are you getting it the name the name of jesus itself is an instrument so when you say you devil come out in the name of jesus now i am not saying in the name of jesus i ask you to come out now that is a channel are you getting it which is correct but when i say come out in jesus name i'm not asking in the name of jesus for you to come out neither am i saying you leave as though you're living in jesus name you're not do you understand he's not living in jesus name when i command him to go in the name of jesus i am saying the order the command is by the instrumentality of the name of jesus that means i say go and the name of jesus stamps the order it stamps the order glory to god and the devil cannot say no hallelujah So when you say get out in Jesus name the order is sealed by the name of Jesus it's an instrument tell somebody it's an instrument hallelujah dear 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 so here is the teaching of the word of God this is so important sometimes you know can, can you go back to st john's gospel for a moment notice when he said whatever you ask in my name he used the word n the instrumentality of his name all right the instrumentality of his name praise god now we'll read something in verse 12 and i'm sure you'd you'd like it maybe to get it in the right context uh read from verse Ten. Can you read from verse ten? Chapter fourteen in John's Gospel. Want to go? Now, this is remarkable believest thou not that I am in the father and the father in me the words that I speak unto you I speak not of myself but the father that dwelleth in me he doeth the works the father that dwelleth in me he doeth the works that's what Jesus was talking about oh Kaso brother Yaski when he said if he shall ask anything in my name i'll do it he wasn't talking about prayer he wasn't talking about prayer prayer is in the 16th chapter here he wasn't talking about prayer he's talking about doing works doing things he said my father that dwells in me he does the works he said the works that the words that i speak 
are not my words I'm not speaking them of myself he says the miracles that you see are done by my father that dwelleth in me not my father in heaven Come on, hey, 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 come on, are you getting something? Okay, now, you read the rest of it all the way from that verse 10. One, two, go. hallelujah now I'm not sure what verse you are in anymore where did you get to 12 okay let's go from 12 go on one to go the works that I do shall he do also hey stop stop he already told us the works that I do are done by my father that dwelleth in me he said, my father that dwells in me, he doeth the works. What works? The works that I do. So he says, I'm doing the works on the outside. But my father that dwells in me, he does the works on the inside. Then he said, you, greater works than these, shall you do. Glory to God. He's talking about works. Let's look at verse 12 again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go on to my Father. Ah, I thought he said, My Father that dwelleth in me. Now he says, I go on to my Father. So what's he talking about? Who is the Father that dwelleth in him? The Holy Ghost! Somebody shout hallelujah! Glory. Now you look at verse 13. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Why does he say I will do it? Why does he say, I will do it? Sigro Husky, Bala Hospital. Listen. Listen. You remember, Jesus said something. Something interesting. He said, uh, I'm going to the Father. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth whom the world... Now, I want you to listen carefully. Listen carefully. If even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. But ye know him. For he dwelleth with you. Ah, hold on. They had never seen the Holy Ghost. And yet Jesus said, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you. Now, they would have said, oh, We know him, John. Do you know him? <laughs> who knows him? Who, who knows him? They had learned already not to ask that stupid question anymore. Because just before that teaching, he had said to them, uh, somebody said, uh, Master, show us the Father and we'll be satisfied. He said, Philip, have I been such a long time with you and you haven't known me? Anybody who has seen me has seen the Father. 
how sayest thou then show us the father don't you believe that i mean the father and the father in me if you don't know that believe for the work's sake now ah he says if you shall ask anything in my name i which i the holy ghost you see it that's exactly what he's talking about he said my father that dwelleth in me he does the works now he says i'm going to my father where in me how can i be going he said i'm going to my father but my father lives in me who is this father which one is there and which one is here you see you're talking about the unity of godliness he stands in the place of his father he stands in the place of the holy ghost no wonder he says allos paracletos one that is exactly like me he's exactly like me hallelujah so he says if you shall ask anything in my name i'll do it why because the spirit of god hasn't come yet to do the work that's why jesus didn't say it's the spirit that lives in me that does it he said my father he's trying to introduce the holy spirit to them he said the words that i speak unto you are not mine they're my father's words and yet he told them the words that you see y'all say yes but the jesus is in heaven we all know that jesus ascended from the earth they watched him go in bodily form until he disappeared and now you say jesus is in you but he's there when did he come into you you see he lives in you by the holy spirit the holy spirit is a conveyor of the presence of the father he's a conveyor of the presence of the son I like something else that Jesus said. Oh dear, 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 dear. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Let me show it to you. Still in this teaching, in St. John's Gospel, 14th chapter, you get to the 20, 25th verse. He says, These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you, but the comforter which is the holy ghost whom the father will send in my name ay, 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 ay. do you know what he's talking about he says the father will send him in my name can i explain to you he didn't say which the father which you will receive in my name he said which the father will send in my name do you know what that's telling you i've told you for years that jesus christ listen the holy spirit we call him holy spirit holy spirit is not his name holy spirit is the description of his personality his name is not holy spirit what is his name he answers to the name of Jesus the father sent the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus meaning that the Holy Spirit has come to answer at the name of Jesus when you call the name of Jesus the Holy Ghost goes into action hallelujah oh hallelujah The Holy Spirit answers to the name of Jesus. He was sent by the Father in the name of Jesus. That's why he said, where two or three are gathered together in my name. He says, they are my. Jesus said, they are my in the midst of them. How? By the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost presents himself at the sound of the name of Jesus. Glory to God. How victorious we would be in everything by simply understanding 
this precious, wonderful, awesome name of Jesus. Holy Spirit answers to that name. He says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. How? The Holy Spirit. So Peter said to that man, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he said, rise up and walk. Hi. In the name. What a message. What a gospel. He was preaching to that man. He preached a message to the man. He said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I have present tense having i have i have such as i have not what i will get after praying such as i have i have come to have hallelujah because i'm born again i have such as i have liba katalamande such as i have oh glory to god oh hallelujah such as i have i am not empty Oh, glory to God. Such as I have. No wonder we can bless the whole world. Such as I have. I have something. I have something. I have something. Such as I have. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Such as I have. Oh, glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Such as I have. Such as I have. I'm not empty. I have something. Such as I have. Ay, 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 ay. Such as I have. Oh, glory to God. My. Of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he said, Rise up and walk. Oh, oh, turn to Colossians, Colossians chapter 3. Such as I have. You have something. Something bigger than money. Something better than money. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Colossians chapter 3. In verse 17, he says, And whatsoever ye do, in word or deed, whatsoever ye do, in word or deed, (laughs) now I can see why Paul was so successful. Now I can understand why the man said, I have fought a good fight. He said, I have finished my course. I have run the race. He says, I have kept the faith. Why was this man so successful? One time, he said, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than you all. Now we can see another thing. He says, and whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ah, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus. He included the word there 
for a specific reason he's talking about the lordship the one that has the dominion do it in the name of the lord jesus what will happen if you did your work in the name of the lord jesus what will happen if you went to the library in the name of the lord jesus the holy ghost will help you find the books you need what will happen if you sat down to study in the name of the Lord Jesus? Tell me, do you know what will happen if you began that project in the name of the Lord Jesus? I heard about a lady. She had a garden. She had come to know Christ and come to know the Spirit of God. She had a garden. She made ridges. She said, once she was in her garden, as she was making a ridge, she looked and three others had been made. She said, who did? She was alone. She decided to do another one. As she did another one, for others had been done that was how she got introduced to the ministry of the spirits and angels in her life from then on she had testimonies after testimonies of wonderful things like this by the Spirit of God I said the Holy Ghost answers to the name of Jesus when you say I do this thing in the name of Jesus let me tell you what happens let me tell you paul told us in philippians chapter 4 verse 13 i can do all things through christ and the word is the same i showed it to you sunday in christ i can do all things in christ the holy spirit made jesus the christ So when it tells us whatsoever you do in word or deed do in the name of jesus he's telling you that the power of the holy spirit will be in operation how can you fail how can you lose let me tell you even when listen even when you have messed it up you have misfired you've written the wrong thing you've done the wrong thing when you are sleeping the holy ghost hallelujah give you visions you understand exactly what to do when you wake up in the morning you say guess what i have the answer go well god hallelujah oh thank you lord i got the answer every day you come into the office i have an answer i have an answer hallelujah because you have an excellent spirit if joseph could be trusted for answers if daniel could be trusted for answers you will be trusted much more for answers can you shout amen somebody hallelujah oh glory to god thank god for the holy ghost thank god for the name of jesus no wonder he said he are washed he are sanctified he are justified in the name of the lord jesus and by the spirit of our god shout amen somebody oh glory to god i found my way i found my way in every situation it's by the power of the holy ghost when i call the name of jesus the holy ghost goes into action i'm a success hallelujah glory to god Woo! success only victory only hallelujah what a life what a life what a life what a life what a life
Go ahead and worship. Go ahead and praise Him. May God's Spirit rest upon you. May that wonderful name of Jesus work in your life continually. May His light shine through you. Yes, be strong. Yes, be healthy. Be prosperous. Be successful. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Open your mouth and glorify Him. Go ahead and praise Him. <laughs>